consider myself technically a veteran. Some people do. I mean, I, I was enlisted for a year, uh, a little over a year, um, but I didn't serve in combat. Uh, I got injured on my way. I was at the main um, or the military entrance processing station, MEPS, and I got injured there. Unfortunately, I was, um, I was going to sign up for active duty. I didn't, not that I didn't like the reserves, but I, uh, I wanted more. Mm -hmm. And then that's where I got hurt and had an, an immediate knee surgery. I was 19. I didn't really know any better. Um, maybe smoked a little bit of pot, but I never realized what painkillers were going to do, um, you know, do to my life. I stole my father's painkillers. Uh, he has, he's had cancer for a while. Um, and uh, I was just, I was out of control. And uh, that was my first bid. I did uh, almost two years. I heard about the Maine Educational Opportunity Center uh, in prison. That's MEOC, which is uh, a TRIO program here in Maine, which is for adult learners. Uh, three years ago, I got out with, of prison with nothing. I had no hope. I had no future uh, until I met the Maine Educational Opportunity Center. I, I went back to school. They empowered and encouraged me that I, that I could do something with my life. Um, and now uh, I'm about to graduate with an MBA. I'm working with adult learners. I'm working at the jail. I'm bringing access to people with the same feelings, with people that don't have hope. Uh, I'm bringing access to these people so they can write their own story. Every path uh, to a degree, to a certificate is different, um, especially for adults. They're coming from very different areas of life, they're coming from very different experiences, um, and their goals are very different. It's, it was a long process, okay. meaning I started taking one course at a time years and years and years um, ago. Then I was divorced, and uh, my kids were getting ready to, one was getting ready to graduate, didn't really know what he wanted to do. He started at KVCC and then he went to CMCC and found his niche. He did a great job. He, f you know, he graduated with honors. Uh, he ended up being an instructor's helper. So I was like, wow, this is great. You know, 15 years have gone by since I'd taken my one course at a time. And I thought, come on, this is, this is silly. I'm in my 40s. Uh, it was only a couple of years ago, just kidding. I was in my 40s, I'm gonna go and finish my degree. It absolutely is a long-term business strategy. We have, to, we have to take care of our own to begin with. You know, we um, invest in our people. We have many programs along with educational assistance to help our employees uh, to continue to grow their careers. Um, we have partnered with Thomas College and they uh, do a professional development series that we have sent a lot of our employees through. As far as certifications go, we're always looking, again, to advance our people. Um, they have opportunities, depending on what field they're in. Um, IT, in particular, has a lot of certification-type classes they can take. Human Resources has certification-type classes. Because my employers were flexible, because the school was flexible, I was able to, to push hard and, and get what I needed, get what I wanted done. So we know affordability is one of the top three things that adult learners and any learner looks for in education. But on top of that, they also look for quality and they look for flexibility. So that includes having campuses across the state in Presque Isle, Bangor, Westbrook, online, and also at people's businesses. In the online world, sometimes that's a question of how that works, and we are now offering classes in seven weeks, so people can take classes year-round. They can come in and start in July. They can start in October, not the traditional starts that we think about for a school year. So Maine currently has a um, attainment rate, and this includes degrees, certificates, any kind of post-secondary education. It's currently at about 44%. Um, but all of the workforce estimates that we see estimate that we're going to need about a 60% attainment rate. Um, so it's very, very low. Um, and that includes about 68,000 adults 
um, who will need, that are active in the workforce right now, that need a higher level of education. Adult education can't do it alone. Um, nonprofit partners like uh, the Maine Educational Opportunity Center and New Ventures can't do it alone. The Maine system can't do it alone, and the community college system can't do it alone. The goal of Maine Spark is not to create a new program, is not to create a new wheel, but to take the good work that's already happening um, and get everyone aligned um, and moving towards the same goal. We talk about education, we talk about degrees, uh, we talk about workforce, but my end goal, and I think the end goal of the Community Foundation is not really any of that. Our end goal is that everyone in the state of Maine is reaching the highest quality of life that they can possibly reach. You just have to do it for yourself, number one. Could I have you know, stayed employed without that? Probably, but I wouldn't have the knowledge, number one, that I have, and I wouldn't have the letters by my name. They're not MDs, but they mean a lot to me. It's never too late. Uh, one of my last classes, I was, uh, I was in class with a 70-year-old woman who used a walker living in assisted living home, getting her bachelor's degree. College opens everything up.